Welcome to Real Estate 101. I'm your host, Joe Tresera, and today we're going to be talking about the qualifications for a home inspector, and I'm pleased to be joined by Alan Spizak of ACUS Home Inspections. Alan, welcome to the show. Joe, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Thanks for coming, Alan. So I want to start uh, today's show by talking about, you know, I often get asked by, you know, buyers, uh, how do they select a good home inspector? Well, Joe, there's a few questions that people should be asking when they're looking for a home inspector. So I'll list them out for you. One, how many years in business? Because you want an inspector who's been out there, who's got experience. Two, you wanna ask them what type of background they have, okay? A good home inspector will have a construction background, hopefully not used car salesman. Three, right. <laughs> three believe it or not, um, you wanna ask if they carry insurance, okay? For their protection. Absolutely. And four, it's always good to get references, Joe. A good home inspector can provide you with references very quickly. Bang, 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 and you can call up a couple of references. I'll just check out uh, their work, absolutely. So talk to me a little bit about licensing home inspections in Ontario. Well, Joe, in Ontario, unfortunately, there's no requirement for licensing. Uh, we've spoken to the government many times, and what they say, Joe, is they're not gonna license home inspectors because they don't get enough complaints. Really? And really. They get more complaints about gym memberships, <laughs> and that's what they're focusing on. Yet, if you think about the type of loss, if you don't get a good home inspector, you're not losing a $100 gym membership. You could be losing several hundred thousand dollars of, a, of your money. So, Alan, uh, you know, let's explain a little bit to our viewers the difference between a registered home inspector and a national home inspector. Well, Joe, a lot of people may have heard the term RHI, or Registered Home Inspector. So that is a, an inspector who's joined the Provincial Association, and they've gone through their courses, the association courses. They've done 150 inspections, and they get registered. But there's a big difference between the National Home Inspector. So a National Home Inspector not only has his credentials, education, and number of inspections verified by an independent body, but they also get tested on a home. And they have to actually pass that test to get the NHI designation. That's the only certification where a home inspector actually gets tested on site. What is the National Home Inspector Certification Council all about? The National Home Inspector Certification Council is the independent body that actually does the review and certification of a home inspector. They are not an association. They are just an independent body of inspectors that do the accreditation and the testing. And that is the gold level of achievement for any home inspector. So Alan, tell me, why aren't these designations more popular and why aren't they recommended by more real estate agents? Well, Joe, the National Home Inspector Certification is relatively new. It's only been around for about three years now. It took about 15 years to develop in cooperation with the Construction Sector Council and CMHC. So your tax dollars went into developing this program. Many years to develop got refined and put in place about three years ago. So being a very young program, uh, there really wasn't much of a budget for advertising and promoting it. But it is actually the gold standard for home inspectors in Canada. You know, another question I, you know, I get asked a lot is, um, is there a requirement in Ontario for home inspectors to be insured? No, Joe. There's no requirement for home inspectors to carry what's called errors and omissions insurance. And that's a good question when people are researching their home inspector. Good home inspectors will carry errors and omissions insurance. No one is perfect, Joe. Sometimes people make mistakes a mistake. Happen, yeah. Architects 
carry errors and omissions insurance. Engineers carry errors and omissions insurance. Real estate agents carry Absolutely. errors and omissions insurance. So why would a good home inspector not carry errors and omissions insurance? It's just a protection in case something major is missed, okay? Then you have protection. Now, don't get me wrong. Some things do happen after the home inspection. You know, pipes will leak. That's why plumbers have jobs, right? right. Things will wear out. And that's why, you know, we have repair people to fix them. So the home inspection is a snapshot at that time. And errors and omissions insurance is an important part of choosing your home inspector. So basically what you're saying uh, is there are home inspectors out there on the market right now that don't have insurance with them. That's right, Joe. What happens is, is these home inspectors that don't carry insurance, they'll have a clause at the bottom of their contract saying, if they make a big mistake, they guess can't what? Be held liable. No, you get your three hundred or four hundred dollars back. That's it. Wow. You know, another thing I want to talk about is uh, for the ones that do, what does the insurance actually cover? Well, Joe, errors and omissions is just that. It's in case a home inspector misses something that's obvious. So I'll give you an example. If someone was to go through the house and the inspector missed a cracked beam and it was obvious to see and the person suffered a financial loss because of that, then the insurance would kick in for that. It wouldn't kick in for something like a basement leak because you know, basements do leak. Right. You might not have a leak for ever and then we have a heavy rain like we yeah, had the last few days and yeah. then a leak occurs. So errors and omissions insurance is strictly for that big problem that should have been caught. So when a buyer is, you know, you know, I take a buyer through a property, they make an offer, it's accepted, and they want to know what the inspection typically covers. Uh, how do they find that out? Well, Joe, we have what's called a standards of practice. So if you go to our website at a kiss, www.aciss.ca, you can find our standards of practice. We follow the standards of practice of the Professional Home and Property Inspectors of Canada, and it outlines what the home inspector must do. Must check all these various components, you know, the roofing, the mechanical, the windows, the doors. There's a whole outline of several pages of what home inspectors are supposed to do. And what about specialty areas like fireplaces, swimming pools, and septics? Yes, well those specialty areas are not covered in the standards of practice for home inspectors to inspect. So what we do, Joe, is we have a list of specialty companies that deal with things like septics, like swimming pools, those specialty items like fireplaces, because to do a proper fireplace inspection, someone's got to go and clean that flue up and check inside, Joe. So for today's final question, um, someone's looking for a, a home inspector, a good home inspector, where do they start their search? Well, Joe, I've got great news for you. The Professional Home and Property Inspectors of Canada, PHPIC, is the only association that promotes the National Home Inspector Certification and works with the National Home Inspector Certification Council to certify inspectors. So if you go to their website, Joe, you can get a list of inspectors that are qualified, that are insured, that have experience, and it's all there for you on that website. And Joe, just to let you know, I'm also the vice president. Uh, well, I knew that already. <laughs> uh, Alan, thanks again for coming on the show. You brought a lot of great information. If anybody has any more questions or like, would like more information on home inspections, they can get in contact with Alan Atticus. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Joe Tresera, and we'll see you next time.